Hello, my name is Miss Holt. I work at St Cuthbert's Assistant Head Teacher and I'm in charge of careers provision across the school. The video that's been prepared is to help you to help your child to get ready for their college applications that will happen in the next few months. Throughout this term, your child will be making important decisions about their future after leaving St Cuthbert's. The purpose of this presentation is to allow you to be informed about all of the choices that they will be making. It will also allow you to have a look at the application process and what activities your child will be engaged in within school so that you can support them from home. The video is made so that it can be paused at any point for you to access more information on the slides. There are a wide range of courses and colleges that your child can attend. Listed below is a range of colleges and courses that are popular with our current students. Throughout the slide you'll see more information on these places and these courses. The first thing that your child will need to be looking at is their current attainment and what grades they are likely to achieve in June of next year. This will determine what type of courses are available to them. Level 1 courses require no formal qualifications. Level 2 courses are equivalent to GCSEs and these involve traineeships and some BTECs at level 2 and a minimum of 4 grades at grade 3 plus including English and Maths must be achieved to study these qualifications. Level 3 qualifications are available to students who achieve 5 grades at grade 4 plus in their GCSEs including English and Maths. The types of courses available to these students are BTECs and MBQs at level 3, A-levels, apprenticeships at level 3 and a new type of course, T-levels. For those of you used to the old GCSE grading structure from A star down to U, the table on the left compares the new grading structure to the old grades. On the right hand side of the slide there is a comparison of the Cambridge National grades which some students sat this summer those that did sport, health and social care and ICT will have these on their grade sheets and it compares the Cambridge National grades to the equivalent score on the new GCSE grading structure. The next few slides take you through the types of qualifications available to your child. The first of these is A-levels. A-levels are usually studied at Sixth Farm College but some colleges do offer A-levels as well. These are a level 3 course which will require at least 5 grades at grade 4 plus including English and Maths. But be aware that some subjects such as Science and Maths do require higher grades. Students will generally study 3 or 4 subjects which they will study in depth and most of the learning will be classroom based. The types of courses that your child can study at A level are listed in the table below. BTECs and NVQs are vocational courses that are linked to specific jobs and there is an array of BTECs and NVQs available to your child. The level of course that your child will be offered will depend upon the grades that they achieve in their GCSEs as in the table above. Please be aware if your child does not achieve a grade 4 or above in Maths or English they will be expected to resit these in college alongside their chosen course. Students can progress through a BTEC to level 3 and then access university and high level apprenticeships should they choose to do so. There is a huge array of vocational courses available to your child and these can be viewed on all of the college and sixth form websites. Some sixth form colleges do offer a blend of A levels and a vocational course and again it's worth having a look at the websites of the sixth form colleges and colleges to see the kind of courses that they can offer. T-levels are a brand new type of course that have come out this year. They are equivalent to three A-levels but are linked to a specific area of employment. T-level students will spend 80% of the course in the classroom learning the skills that their employers are looking for whilst 20% of their time will be spent on 45 days in industry learning and putting those skills into action. For most T-levels your child will require at least five GCSEs at grade four plus including English and maths.
The list below shows the T-level courses available to students in 2021 and again it's worth looking through the college websites to see which courses they are offering and available to your child. Apprenticeships have become extremely popular with our students over the last few years. Apprenticeships will involve your child working in a work-based placement for the vast majority of their week but they then may have some training that will be based in college and have day release from their work placement. They will be paid for this role and they will be given training on the job to complete that specific job. A vast array of different apprenticeships are available at different levels according to the qualifications that your child achieves when leaving St Cuthbert's. Below is a list of the types of apprenticeship that are available currently. There is also a huge array of information available on the apprenticeships website which are listed below. Traineeships are the final qualification that we are going to look at. Traineeships are available to students who don't have the required qualifications or experience to go straight onto an apprenticeship. It will usually involve a work-based placement which will allow your child to achieve a level one qualification. Your child may be entitled to a bursary or travel expenses for doing this, but they won't be paid like with the apprenticeship. We know that your child will have some difficult decisions to make over the next few weeks and this may seem a daunting process for them. With this in mind, we have planned a programme of support over the next term to help them with this. On Wednesday the 24th of September, your child will be involved in a personal development session with their form tutor. During this session, they will receive a presentation on all of the local colleges and courses that are available to them. They will also re review their GCSE results from the summer look at their minimum expected grades and their grades that they were awarded in March of 2020. They'll have the opportunity to start to prepare a CV which most colleges will need for interview and they'll also have the opportunity to have a review of the prospectuses for the different colleges. Your child will need to bring with them their full address, their date of birth, a suitable email address to use for their college applications. They will also need to know your email address, your addresses and your telephone numbers to place on the application forms. Colleges are currently unable to come into school to talk to students as they normally would. Therefore, each college has provided us with a short video to share with students what they have to offer in terms of qualifications and what their college life would be like. This will be supported with discussion with their form tutor during these periods to allow them to start to think about which institutions they may be more interested in looking at further. The next step will be making applications for students once they have decided which courses that they might like to apply to. Students can make as many applications to as many different courses as they wish to and as many different colleges as they wish to. To allow this to happen, in the week commencing the 5th of October, students will be given a slot to attend after school if they wish to apply to Hotwood Hall, Rochdale Sixth Form College or Bury College between Monday and Thursday of that week. On Friday the 9th of October, any students that wish to make applications to other colleges will be able to do so. It is really important that the students attend on the correct day and are starting to make these applications. Once the interview process starts with the different colleges, students will be expected to have a curriculum vitae that they can either send to the college or take with them to interview, depending on the process that the college is operating. Next week your child will be making a CV in form time which will be written out. In order to allow them to be able to type this up and have this ready to take with them to interviews, in study hall from the 12th of October students will be able to type these curriculum VSAs up and get them printed out ready to go. We understand that some students will need more support with making applications. Therefore, in the week commencing the 21st of October, students will be offered opportunities to make applications in a one-to-one -one format with support from the Pushing Potential team, our careers advisor, Paul Ferry, and they will also, during the week in personal development time, have the opportunity to do some mock interview practice ready for their interviews at the colleges. In terms of how you can support your child, it's really important that you are now starting to show an interest and discussing with your child what they might like to do post St Cuthbert's. They can also make applications at home to the various colleges and there is a sheet attached to this email which lists all of the website addresses for the colleges and their deadline dates. 
please also encourage them to attend and engage fully in all of the career sessions which have been planned for them. If you feel that you or your child need further support in terms of the careers process that's going on at the minute, you can contact either myself, Paul Ferry, who is our careers advisor, or Mrs Ellich, who is a part of the Pushing Potential team and very experienced in terms of careers advice. The next few slides take you through some of our local colleges, their entry requirements and give details of their website address for you to explore further. The list below has other colleges in our local area that some of our students have attended in the past. Another couple of websites which may be useful to your child are the National Career Service website and the Zello website. Both of these are based around careers and pathways into them. The National Career Service website, you can look up any career which your child may be interested in and it gives them pathways into that particular role. The Zello website does questionnaires with your child which takes them through their likes and dislikes and strengths and weaknesses and then formulates careers which may be suitable to them. If they're accessing the Zello website your child will need their school email address and initially their password is change me. It will then prompt them to change the password. If your child is interested in apprenticeships then a good starting point is the website below. This website will allow your child to make applications and to find out further information about different types of apprenticeships available to them. So what next? The first step is to choose a college that your child might like to find out more information about. Have a look through the prospectus and the website together. Have a look at courses that they might like to apply to and look at the entry requirements for these courses. Then look together. Do your child's current grades and the exam results which they achieved in the summer allow them to access the course that they are interested in? Once this is done, you can either log onto the website and make the application together, or your child can wait for their opportunity to do this in school. The list below is just another reminder of the information that your child will need to get together in order to make their applications. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you now feel more prepared to support your child through the process of applying to college. Should you require any further information, please don't hesitate to contact me at St Cuthbert's. Thank you.